So let's then dive in and explain the difference between hemp and marijuana because there are some similarities, but like you said, very much the crazy aunt the wild sister, yeah. the nutty cousin, yeah. <laughs> would be marijuana, yep. and the Ivy League straight-laced school doctor <laughs> yeah, that's your hemp. would be hemp. So let's talk about the misconceptions out there and then how under the cannabis umbrella there's marijuana and there's hemp, but then when we look at hemp, there are different strains of hemp that bring yes. different benefits. Totally. They're close cousins because they're both under the cannabis family, but they are completely different species of plants. Marijuana has high concentrations of THC, which is what gets you high, gives you that psychoactive effect. Nowadays, you have concentrations anywhere from about 15 upwards of 30% THC mm. in different strains of marijuana, which that's what gets you high. Whereas hemp does not. It only has about 0.3% in the products that you're actually gonna be consuming. So it is generally untraceable, undetectable amount. So as far as uh, hemp is concerned, like you said, Holly, there's different strains that exist. And these different strains have different profiles, as they call them, of cannabinoids. Mm -hmm. So CBD, or cannabidiol, is only one of 113 known cannabinoids currently. And cannabinoids are not specific only to plants. We have an endocannabinoids that our body produces naturally, mm -hmm. and then there's phytocannabinoids cannabinoids that are produced by the plant and they interact with what's called an endocannabinoid system. This is a system of receptors that our central nervous system uses to regulate different body functions like appetite, pain relief, anxiety, depression, and basically it's using this receptor network to bring our body to homeostasis. As we know, our bodies don't always function perfectly. Yeah. And so that's where the addition of, you know, vitamins, supplements, and cannabinoids can help our body perform at the more optimal level. So basically what the cannabinoid system is, from my understanding, is the master anti-ager. It's the thing that murders out inflammation, keeps us young, keeps keeps us feeling good, and we lose it as we age. We lose the amount our body is producing naturally, and if we can just get a little back in us, exactly. it's a game changer. Yes. Yes, and exactly like you say, it's that it's that system of receptors that our central nervous system uses mm -hmm. to regulate all those body functions. Right. And so if we're having a deficiency internally because our body's not producing enough, that's we where want we it. We want to get it in us, and then we really want it in us, so we feel it. And right now, that's where research is really trending. I mean, it's there's a lot of scientific research to substantiate the benefits that are coming from hemp and hemp-derived products. In fact, there have been two treatments so far with cannabinoids that the FDA has approved as effective treatments. One of them is for acne, mm -hmm. and one of them is for epilepsy. And then I can think of seven different health benefits that they're individually researching right now. And it's not that it's curing these things, but right. it, it, they're finding it to be very effective in helping to alleviate certain things that people are suffering from. Exactly.